Flagstaff, Arizona, the porcupines were walking slow and funny, more so than they usually do, their stride concerned some residents in a South Lake Tahoe neighborhood who called a rehabilitation center. Turns out, the porcupines had extensive burns to their paws, fur, quills and faces after a wildfire burned through the area. Wildlife centers in the U.S. West are caring for animals that weren't able to flee the flames or are looking for food in burned over places. An emaciated turkey vulture recently found on the Lake Tahoe shore couldn't fly, likely because food isn't as plentiful in burned areas, said Denise Upton, the animal care director at Lake Tahoe Wildlife Care. That's what we're seeing in the aftermath of the fires, just animals that are having a hard time and being pushed into areas they are not traditionally in, she said. Is fire good or bad for wildlife? Not necessarily either, says Brian Wolfer, the game program manager for the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. It's a disturbance on the landscape that changes habitat, he said, some species benefit from wildfire, such as raptors that hunt rodents running from the flames, beetles that move into dead wood and lay eggs, and woodpeckers that feed on them and nest in hollow trees, fire exposes new grass, shrubs and vegetation in the flowering stage that feed elk and deer. When food sources are plentiful, female deer produce more milk and fawns grow faster, Wolfer said. On the flip side, Animals that depend on old-growth forests can struggle for decades trying to find suitable habitat if trees fall victim to fire, Walther said. If sagebrush burns, sage-grouse won't have food in winter or a place to hide from predators and raise their young, he said in the years that follow, you see reduced survival and, over time, that population starts to decline, he said. Some wildfires burn in a mosaic, preserving some habitat. But the hotter and faster they burn, the harder it is for less mobile animals to find suitable habitat, he said. How animals respond to WILDFIRE mice, squirrels, and other burrowing animals dig into cooler ground, bears climb trees, deer and bobcats run, small animals take cover in logs, and birds fly to escape the flames, heat, and smoke. They almost seem to have a sixth sense to it, said Julia Camp a resources manager for the Coconino National Forest in northern Arizona. A lot of times their response is quicker than ours. Firefighters have spotted tortoises with singed feet at the edge of wildfires, snakes slithering out from the woods and frail red-tailed hawks on the ground. Biologists can take precautionary measures, like moving introductory pens for Mexican grey wolves or scooping up threatened or endangered fish if they know a fire is approaching. Camp said. In 2012, a team of biologists went in after a massive lightning sparked wildfire in the Gila wilderness in southwestern New Mexico to save Gila trout from potential floods of ash, soil, and charred debris that would come with heavy rainfall. The fish were sent to hatcheries that replicated their habitat until they could be returned. Some animals don't survive wildfires, but their deaths don't greatly affect the overall population. Wildlife officials say. How wildlife factors into fire management when wildfires break out in northern Arizona. Camp pulls out her maps. She can see where Mexican spotted owls live, which fish live in which waterways, and where bald and golden eagles nest. If we're going to put a dozer line in, it won't be in the middle of their nesting area, she said. But if something is barreling toward Flagstaff, we're going to have to put out the fire regardless. Some of those decisions are driven by the Federal Endangered Species Act. In 2015, a wildfire was threatening the Alligator River National Wildlife Refuge on the North Carolina coast. Firefighters cut low lying branches from old pine trees where the red carcaded woodpecker nests and burned other potential fuel. What ended up happening is the fire did approach that area, but because of these measures, it did not affect the nesting areas of the woodpecker said U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service spokeswoman Kari Cobb. Firefighters also can starve wildfires of fuel using backburns so flames burn at the base of trees rather than more intensely in the crowns and threatening wildlife habitat. Other considerations are in play when dropping fire retardants so chemicals don't affect water sources or suffocate sensitive plants. Wildfire managers also try to avoid transferring mussels fungi or non-native plants that might hitchhike in helicopter buckets by carefully choosing water sources or disinfecting buckets, Camp said.
It's a disturbance on the landscape that changes habitat, he said. Some species benefit from wildfire, such as raptors that hunt rodents running from the flames, beetles that move into dead wood and lay eggs, and woodpeckers that feed on them and nest in hollow trees. Fire exposes new grass, shrubs, and vegetation in the flowering stage that feed elk and deer. When food sources are plentiful, female deer produce more milk and fawns grow faster, Wolfer said. On the flip side, animals that depend on old growth forests can struggle for decades trying to find suitable habitat if trees fall victim to fire, Wolfer said. If sagebrush burns, sage grouse won't have food in winter or a place to hide from predators and raise their young, he said in the years that follow, you see reduced survival and, over time, that population starts to decline, he said. Some wildfires burn in a mosaic, preserving some habitat. But the hotter and faster they burn, the harder it is for less mobile animals to find suitable habitat, he said. How animals respond to wildfire mice, squirrels and other burrowing animals dig into cooler ground, bears climb trees, deer and bobcats run. Small animals take cover in logs and birds fly to escape the flames, heat and smoke. They almost seem to have a sixth sense to it, said Julie Camp, a resources manager for the Coconino National Forest in northern Arizona. A lot of times their response is quicker than ours. Firefighters have spotted tortoises with singed feet at the edge of wildfires, snakes slithering out from the woods and frail red-tailed hawks on the ground. Biologists can take precautionary measures, like moving introductory pens for Mexican grey wolves or scooping up threatened or endangered fish if they know a fire is approaching, Camp said. In 2012, a team of biologists went in after a massive lightning-sparked wildfire in the Gila wilderness in southwestern New Mexico to save Gila trout from potential floods of ash, soil and charred debris that would come with heavy rainfall. The fish were sent to hatcheries that replicated their habitat until they could be returned. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.